Mahakama kuu leo imempata na tia Joseph Joey Rungu katika mawaji ya mfanyabiashara Monika Kimani. Katika hukumu yake Judge Grace Nzioka alisema upande wa mashtaka uliwasilisha ushahidi wa kutosha uliothibitisha kwa Joey. Alitekeleza mauaji hayo mnamo mwaka 2018. Hukumu dhidi yake itatolewa mwezi ujao. Brenda Wanga anafanua ushahidi huo. Miaka sita baada ya kukamatwa na kuanza kusikizwa kwa kesi ya mauaji dhidi yao, washukiwa wawili Joseph Joey Irungu na Jackie Maribe walijua hatma yao. The first accused person is convicted on the charge. The second accused person is acquitted of the offense. Joey alipatikana na hatia kutokana na ushahidi uliyowasilishwa katika kesi hiyo. Katika uamuzi wake, Jaji Grace Nzioka alisema licha ya Joey kudai kuwa hakumfahamu marehemu Monica Kimani upande wa mashtaka ulionyesha kuwa alikuwa anamjua na kwamba Joey alikuwa nyumbani kwa marehemu siku ya tukio hilo na kwamba alikuwa mtu wa mwisho kumuona akiwa hai. by the first accused person that he did not know the deceased prior to her death is untenable. It is insincere and it is an afterthought and it is false. It is the finding of this court that the first accused person was known to the deceased prior to her death. Upande wa mashtaka pia ulidhibitisha mbele ya mahakama kwamba Joey alikuwa amepanga njama ya kutekeleza mawaji hayo kwa kutafuta njia ya kuingia katika nyumba ya marehemu bila kujulikana. Ushahidi wa mlinzi wa makazi hayo na mfanyikazi Dominic Bisera ukitoa maelezo zaidi. There is evidence from protected witness 3A to the fact that The person who went to the deceased house on 19th of September 2018 produced an ID in the name of Dominic Bisera Haron. This witness identifies the first accused person on the parade as the Dominic Bisera Haron. I come to the parade. Mavazi ya Joey siku ya sukio pia yalichangia uamuzi wa mahakama. Kaptula aliyokuwa amevaa, kanzu nyeupe na kufia zilitajwa na mashahidi kadhaa. Mmoja wao akielezea jinsi Joey alivyobadilisha nguo na kuvaa kanzu kabla ya kuelekea nyumbani kwa marehemu Monica. But it was very clear. No one disputed that the first accused person is supposed and was wearing a maroon cap. So a lot a lot of questions was on white council white council and the brown shirt no question on the maroon cap yet this maroon cap knits and joins right from the house where the first accused left the house help says he wore maroon cap Jenny's at road house he wore maroon cap you go to Chelagat he had a maroon cap you go to the Gada Dramuria Haron had a maroon cap You go to the witnesses who are in that house, he had a maroon cap. A maroon cap has been produced in this court. Does the accused person say it's not mine? No evidence to that effect. Katika utetezi wake, Joey alikuwa amekana kwamba alikuwa nyumbani kwa marehemu kwa muda mrefu na kwamba alifika hapo mwendo wa saa tano usiku. Hata hivyo, ushahidi uliyowasilishwa mahakamani ulionyesha kuwa Joey alikuwa nyumbani kwa Monica mapema zaidi. Brenda Wanga Runinga ya Citizen.